And let's go, hey there, my Facebook friends. Who is out in Facebook land this morning? Hello, 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 hello. Who is out in Facebook land that would like to say hello to me? Good morning. Happy Thursday to you, wherever you are. My name is Kim Kenyon Smythe, and I am coming to you from sunny South Florida, where I asked Alexa, and she told me this morning it is it was 83 degrees, and we are going up to 88 degrees today, so maybe we are getting some cooler temperatures, because last week it was 90-something, and our heat index was like 100, and then I saw one of my friends who lives in Canada has snow, and then another one one of my friends who I think is in Minnesota or Wisconsin said it was 27 degrees this morning. So I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but our air conditioner is still running. Good morning, Alicia from the Jersey Channel Islands. And good morning again, Karen from Hamburg, Pennsylvania. So if you're jumping on here live and can see that little red um, live ticker icon in the left-hand corner, that means you are seeing me in the flesh and so if you are, please just let me know where you're tuning in from. Are you East Coast? Are you West Coast? Are you international? Where in the world do you live? If you are coming back to watch the replay, please give me a hashtag replay. Why? Because replay viewers are just as important as the live viewers. We know not everybody can be on here on Facebook Live at the same time. So you may come back later. You may come back tomorrow. You may come back next month. And if you do, I want to be able to show you some replay love. If you are new and have never seen me before, please just let me know you're new. Again, because I want to be able to say thank you to you. And if at any point you find any value in anything that I ever have to say, say sharing is caring there is a sharing button below and you can share 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 so today is think about it thoughtful Thursday and um, I am coming out here just because I want to talk I, this week I've been talking about mindset and the reason why I'm talking about mindset is I am participating in a 31 day live video challenge with the with the lady tribe the video challenge started on Monday, October 1st. It is a completely free video challenge. Um, even though the challenge started, if you are not a participant and you would like to be a participant, you can still participate. You would just need to uh, drop me a message in the, or drop a comment in the comments, or send me a message, and I will send you over to ladytribe.com, and then once you are registered for the challenge, then I would put you into the Lady Tribe challenge group and get you in a pod. We are in pods of 10, and we are swimming upstream doing these live videos. So if you are interested in participating in the live video challenge, please let me know. Um, and if not, that's okay too, but um, it's a lot of fun. We have over 1,500 participants total, and we are having a great time going live and showing love on each other and uh, support and encouragement and all that. So part of... Um, doing our video challenge is also personal development every day. And we are actually listening to The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. If you don't know The Strangest Secret or you don't know who he is, I believe he recorded, um, actually wrote the book and then recorded um, his broadcast and you can find it on YouTube. I will drop the link in the below in the link in the comments below. As I said, it is called The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. And I actually have listened to the strangest strangest secret by him for years and years and years. My dad was in business. He was a businessman. He was a manufacturer's representative. He was actually an entrepreneur many, many years ago. And he listened to Earl Nightingale and then passed um the strangest secret onto me and I believe somewhere in my house I still have my cassette tape of the strangest secret but now you can find it on YouTube so he's got a very soothing voice and it's only a 31 minute audio and he gives talks about the strangest secret and I'm gonna give you some of his points and highlighter highlights and then he actually gives you an action plan um, to get started and something to do every single day so how many of you know the strangest secret is there anybody out there who has listened to Earl Nightingale? 
yes, no, maybe. Okay, well, if you haven't, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you go to YouTube and uh, find The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale um, because he talks about success and that it's a strange secret, but it really shouldn't be a strange secret because it's very easy. Hi, Lori, how are you? Thank you so much. I know we're so into mindset stuff. So anyway, um, so some of the things, as I said, I've got my notes and I'm just gonna give you some of the, the highlights that he talked about as far as this in The Strangest Secret that he says that success is the progression of a worthy ideal. Okay, something that's worthy and that you have to progress towards that ideal and that we become what we think about. And that he quotes um, Norman Vincent Peale in his audio and in the book as well. And Norman Vincent Peale says that if you think in negative terms, you will get negative results. But if you think in positive terms, you will get positive re results. So you need to believe and succeed. And really, you know, the, he was talking about like planting seeds in a garden. And you have rich soil and you have a garden and you dig two holes and in one hole you plant nightshade, which is poison. And then in the other hole, maybe you plant a sunflower seed and, it, it, and, and you cultivate and you water and you take care of both of the plants. The sunflower, the, the sunflower and the nightshade, which is poison. And he says, you know what? The garden, like your mind, doesn't care what you plant in it, okay? If you think about it, it doesn't care what you plant in it. It's going to cultivate and grow whatever you plant. So if you plant negativity in your head, you're going to grow negativity. Makes sense, doesn't it? If you plant positivity in your head, then you're going to grow positivity because we reap what we sow. So he said, if you plant a worth worthwhile goal, your mind will return anything that we plant. Yes, Lori, The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. You have to, have to, have to, have to listen to it. He's He's got a very soothing voice. And it's, it's very, very powerful. Yes, powerful is the perfect word for today. So he talks about if you think in negative terms, you'll get negative results. If you think in positive terms, you'll get positive results. And we know that negativity attracts negativity. Positivity attracts positivity. And he says you you become what you think about. You are what you think about, okay? So if you think in positive terms, you're gonna get positive results. If you think in negative terms, you're gonna get re negative results. We all know people that walk around that are those negative Nellies and their lives just continue to down spiral and they have negative after negative after negative. Why? because that's what they talk about all the time. And that is what they are attracting into their lives is that negativity. But then he also talks about those positive people that are always successful and positivity. And that, you know, people that are positive have all the positive things that come into their lives. So if you think in negative terms, you're gonna have negative results. If you think in positive terms, you're going to have positive results. And no, it's not always easy. We all get negative and we all get those negative thoughts in our heads, but you have to learn to flip the switch and change your mindset. And only you can do that. All right. Cause we're the only ones that are up here. And so, you know, he talks about, he talks about that you reap what you sow and that if you think positive in positive terms you will get positive results you know and so it's just a matter of um waking up in the morning and that positivity and one of his things that he suggests is to take a a card okay and write what your goal is on the card okay and what he was what he talks about and and this is really kind of powerful too is that you have to have kind of one goal at a time you can't have 
opposite types of goals. You have to have things that are aligned. So he talks about having a worth, a worthy, worthwhile goal. Okay, and he says, write your goal on one side of your card, and then on the other side of your card, he said, these are words that come from the Sermon on the Mount. And he says to write these words on the back of the card and carry the card with you and look at the card and, and, and study it. Yes, absolutely, Bobby. Start your day with gratitude and end your day with gratitude because, let's face it, we all have things to be grateful for because when we look around the world, somebody always has it worse than us. Okay, so on one side of your card or a piece of paper or a sticky note, write your goal for today. And he said, actually, your goal can change if you want it to, or it could be a 31 day goal. So on one side, write your goal. And on the other side of your card, write these words from the Sermon on the Mount. And the words are ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Okay, those are some pretty amazing words if you think about it. Yes, and a plan to reach them. Absolutely, Karen. So I would, as I said, um, you know, he says, if you think in positive terms, you'll get positive results. Uh, we reap what we sow. So it doesn't matter what you plant because your mind will grow whatever it, whatever you put in there. And that it was actually really kind of interesting that he was talking about that scientists and studies show that we actually use about 10% or less of our of the abilities that we have in our mind and to think that um you know it's it's so easy and that, and he says and that's why that, and that's why he talks about the strangest secret because he said most people don't know about it and he said you know you could walk on the street and ask people you know what does it mean to be successful and most people don't know what it means to be successful so my I highly, 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 highly <laughs> suggest that if you have not listened to Earl Nightingale and The Strangest Secret, please, please for me as your friend and my friend and you're my friend, um, just listen to him at least once. Okay. Yes, Karen says focusing, keep on knocking, keep in, keep on seeking, and keep on asking. Yes, ask, believe, and receive. Okay. So as I said, you will reap what you sow. Um, we need to be of service first. Build, work, dream, and then create. We need to have, um, and he gives us six definite steps. You need to define your goal, and you need to quit running yourself down. He said, think. You need to think about the reasons why you are successful instead of the reasons why you're not successful. And he said, if you believe that you're not successful, he said, what you really need to do is kind of examine your childhood attitudes about why you're not successful. He said, then what you need to do is determine who you are. And he said, then what you need to do for step number six is Act the part of the successful person that you have that you have decided to become. Okay. Step number one: have a definite goal. Step number two: quit running yourself down. Quit quit beating yourself up. Step number three: think about why you are successful. Number four. Examine the reasons or your childhood attitudes about why you're not successful. Who told you you weren't going to be successful? Who told you that you were never going to amount to anything or that you weren't worthy? Was it a parent? Was it a friend? Was it a teacher? Was it who knows who it was? But who told you that you weren't going to be successful, that you weren't worth it? He said, then decide who you are. Step number, and then the last step is, he said, act the part of the successful person that you have decided to become.
It's a 30 day test. It's easy. You can do it for yourself. And if you flub up, he says, just start all over again. So I, as I said, I'm going to repeat it one more time. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you listen to Earl Nightingale. Um, the strangest secret, find him on YouTube, write out your card with your goal. And as I said, the words from the sermon on the Mount are ask and it shall be given unto you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be opened unto you so remember whatever you plant in your mind you will reap and you will sow so if you plant positivity you will get positivity in your life if you plant negativity you'll get negativity in your life as i said oh this was one quote that he said which was really um he said that hold on where is it i have um i have my notes i have my notes he says that for every action there is an e oh wait it's right here i just didn't have it highlighted he said for every action there is an Wait, I got. I can't read my notes. He says, "For every action, there is a an a opposite reaction." Okay. So as I said, plant positivity instead of negativity. Listen to Earl Nightingale and the Strangest Secret. Um, flip the switch if your mindset isn't great. You know, if you've got that negative attitude. Um, Push those negative thoughts to the side and think of three positive things. Um, Bobby on here said start every day and end every day with gratitude. Having a gratitude journal and writing down what you're grateful for. Grateful for waking up in the morning. Grateful for the freedom that we have in the United States. Grateful for your children, for your fur babies, for your grandchildren. Grateful for being able to work from home. I mean, there are so many things that we have to be grateful for. And I think when you start to write them down and you acknowledge them on a daily basis, then throughout the day, you find more things to be grateful for and have gratitude for. So my Facebook friends, with that being said, today was Think About It Thoughtful Thursday. Um, mindset, flip the switch if you need to. And I hope that you have a fabulous day wherever you are, whatever you are doing. Tomorrow I will be back at 11.11 for Feel Good Fun Friday. And uh, thank you, my Facebook fr friends, for tuning in to say hello. I know I say it every single day, but, you know, those of you that come on and support me and give me the love and the hearts and the comments, my friend Karen that lives in Pennsylvania, she watches me every single day. Karen, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We do appreciate those of you that come on and watch us and, and comment and give the love and the supports and the hearts and the comments. And if you're not on here with us live and you come back and our, watch our replays, that's just, an, an, just as important as heartfelt and heartfelt as if you are here with us when we are on, on here live. Um, so thank you. And I say it, but I really, really mean it. This is my heart. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. And I will see you soon. Go listen to Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret, and then let me know what you think, please. I promise, 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 it will be worth the 31 minutes of your time to find him on YouTube and listen to him. And then if you find value in, in his, his audio, then listen again and listen again and listen again because I've probably listened to his audio over the years, I don't know, a couple hundred times and still every time I listen to it, I, I hear the same things but then I hear other things and different things that I didn't hear before. So my Facebook friends, happy Thursday to you. I love you and I will see you soon.